but still conflicting reports emerging right now. Some media outlets here stating that at least seven people have been killed in this blast. Al Manar, which is the media wing of the Hezbollah, uh, media, uh, the Hezbollah network, says that at least three people have been killed in this blast. The concern is that that death toll will rise in the coming hours. Now, you mentioned just a minute ago that this is coming shortly on the heels of this assassination that happened just about six days ago of Mohammed Shatta. He's a Sunni politician. That happened here in Beirut uh, in one of the commercial hubs uh, of downtown Beirut. That caused a lot of concern. That was seen as an indication that spillover from the Syrian civil war uh, was getting worse here in, uh, in Lebanon. Now you have this blast hit a neighborhood that is a Hezbollah stronghold in southern Beirut. It's called Dahye. It's a densely populated area, an area with a lot of businesses and a lot of residences. And we're told that this happened in, uh, very close to a building that's one of the headquarters of Hezbollah in Dahye. Uh, now, as I said, concern really growing right now now that this is a trend that has only gotten worse and may continue to get worse. If you'll remember, we've spoken about blasts targeting Hezbollah neighborhoods several times these past few months. In July, you had a blast target Hezbollah very close to the same area that was targeted today. In August, you had a car bomb go off there. In November, you had two suicide car bombs go off outside the Iranian embassy in a neighborhood that is very close to the neighborhood that was targeted just today. And today, you have this blast. Now, now, many people I'm speaking with believe that once again Hezbollah is being targeted because there is rising anger towards the group because they are participating in the Syrian civil war because they are fighting alongside the regime uh, soldiers of President Bashar al-Assad uh, in trying to take back more territory in Syria which is next door. We must remember sectarian divisions in Lebanon mirror sectarian divisions in Syria and as the war has gotten worse in Syria sectarian tensions have gotten worse here in Lebanon. Now you see Sunni neighborhoods being targeted and Shiite neighborhoods being targeted. And many Lebanese that I've been speaking with these, these past several weeks do believe this is only going to get worse the longer the Syrian civil war goes on. There is a lot of anger here in Lebanon because of this. How exactly today's blast will impact what happens in the days to come, we just don't know yet. But it certainly will cause more fear in a country that is so divided right now, that is so fractious and is functioning without a government and has been so for several months. So tensions really on the rise here tonight in Lebanon, really on the rise here in Beirut. Surely security uh, will, be, uh, uh, will be tightened around the city, uh, but as of who has claimed responsibility, nobody yet will be watching the details that will be emerging in the hours ahead.